Okay, people, thanks for tuning back in. This is again the MS Access VBA training training seminar. I like to call it seminar. But uh, today we're going to look at in this video we're going to look at MS Access controls. In particular, they click, double click, God focus, lost focus, and change events. In this video one, uh, we're going to make this probably two videos because it's quite. Uh, uh, and the other one, we're we're not going to have enough time to do it. In this one, so we're going to look at the not not in list and after update events. Okay, so now we're looking at the. Uh, well, let's show you my form here. So I have a form full of these controls. Now any object on a form or report is called a control and they all have properties and things that they can do things that the way they look okay we have a graphical a graphical interface like it's better than typing stuff in at a command line so uh, we're looking at the click event what happens with the click event the most common thing we expect is that something happens is like a message box up the thing click it happens when you click something it happens when you click a click event occurs and the click event formulates a message box in this case we can also have the click event uh, open up a the viewing properties of a, a box let's say we have uh, now now the double click event is when you click two times okay like pizza pizza in that uh, we have it that quick quickly and uh, so in the past I've used I've used a double click event to open up uh, the viewing pulse but now you can't see a you can't see any box uh, you may want to you may want to hide a box in the other form and have a double click event to open it okay now uh, we've done this in the past where I a, a picture shows in the form and it's kind of you don't expect to double click it and then have a box appear okay here a box appeared now I enter password now but uh, I'm gonna get to that but Anyway, you double click the picture and this box appears. And the next event is the God Focus event. So when the box now gets a focus, it gives us a message saying, it says, gives us a message saying, let's see, enter a password now. So God Focus, enter a password now. Okay. So I enter the password. This is just a yeah, sample thing. And now I could also on the loss focus event I could say uh, now I'm going to lose I'm going to leave so I could do something like validate the validate what happened in that box okay you have left this text box continue okay I've done also another example of a double click is double clicking a uh, a little little label like this and open up a form a report okay change contents okay if the content changes on something ASDF notice down here we're having a label populate with whatever I type okay so here we have a change event okay and now we have a change event occurring here we have a before up, before update and after update. So his was we haven't updated yet. This is going to be after update. Save the changes, yes, and the change was completed. Okay. So now I have a before before update. I have an after update that just occurred. Now I'm going to show you real quickly uh, the code behind this. And you may have to go to the website to go see the rest of the code, but here we have a uh, the click event. Click event. It was click on the image. Double click. Now I'm going to go through a lot of this code uh, in the next video. 
next part of the video because you ran out of time, folks. So thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, we're gonna continue on to control events number two. Remember to get the code at vbahowto.com, and also you make sure you subscribe and rate rate this video. Thank you very much, and you have a great evening, afternoon, any type of the day it is for you. Bye.